Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Hey folks, Mephone here, as this next game is about to be the Golden State Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies up for the third game of the postseason of the conference semifinals. So I will be here for the last game against for the Suns and Jazz, with Son of Beast here at the Footprint Center. That will be happening here for this game coming up for the uh, for the last one. And after this game, we will be heading over to the last one here for number one seed to take on against the number five seed team. So, who will win for the second game? You will find out if there's a choice in between the Warriors and Grizzlies. Right now, the Warriors have already won the first game, so it's a 1-0 Golden State lead. Now let's send you down to FedEx Forum with Kevin Harlan, Clark Kellogg, and along the sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the game, folks. I will be here for the halftime show to check out what the commentators are up to. Mississippi River carving its path through Memphis, Tennessee, where we're coming to you from tonight. It's NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from T.A. along the sideline all game long. Let's see some of the numbers here for Dylan Brooks. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. His scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. And let's go straight over to David Aldridge for a report before the tip-off. Hey, Dave. Thank you very much. Jerry Jackson Jr. is continuing in his father's NBA footsteps. Asked about that influence, Jared said, just his heart for the game and tenacity have to be able to shoot and play defense because you don't want to be a liability. At the end of the day, my dad did all of that, and he won a ring. Kevin Jaron Jr. wants that last part, too. I can see why, D.A., and I think he's well on his way. Thank you for that one. Greg, I think it's going to be a battle of the boards, a battle of rebound, and you know what that's like. You played alongside some good rebound. Well, you know, Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley, I mean, those guys got after it as well as anybody who's ever played. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. Murray and Poole have the guard spots. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Clay Thompson. And it's Green in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Grizzlies, Adams at center with Jackson next to him. Then it's Morant. Then there's Dylan Brooks. And it's Bain in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Morant. Here's the pass to Bain. Good! Bain! Bain's got oh, this one. Just by for the Jamo it. And so it's Golden State with it. Curry looking it over. Chalk up two. I would love to have that type of tough shot. And one thing about John Morant that can get lost in all the highlights, he is truly a gifted playmaker. Great vision, and he manipulates defenses to create openings for his teammates. Let's not forget, he led the nation in assists his sophomore season at Murray State. His core sense and feel for the game are Jerry Jackson Jr. Clear his age. Boy, this is what a diverse skill set buys you. Jackson with so many options after corralling the miss. Green with the ball. He's picked up by Morant. Curry with a wide open look. Steph Curry. Three pointers on right right target. Curry's got five points so far. Last nice game for the Warriors, it was a loss to the Grizzlies. And really, I thought, what was the difference in that game? Offensive rebound, or, or the lack thereof. A lot of one and done. Job right. On both sides of the floor, and they didn't get the job done. That's Bay Bay with the assist. Now, here's Curry. 
14 points from him the last game against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Passes it to Poole. And another three. Jordan Poole. State. For three. Such a clever facilitator. Seth Curry, Curry with the assists. Fantastic at noticing when his teammates are uncovered. Now here's Brooks. He had a 12 point outing in their last game against Golden State. Adams down low. He's against Green. Shot clock at six. It's good. Praise me, baby. Green. Successful. He can start out shooting 80% from the game. So early offensively, they've been great. Shut Curry. The way you like to score. Three. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect. 4-4 four, four from the floor. Here's Morant. Up and in. Shot. Morant. Morant's got his second basket of the night. Okay, check out the handles of John Moran. Wow, what a crafty player. Curry against Moran. It's good. Seven, Seven points for him. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? Two minutes remaining in the first period of the game. He should be on your radar all the time. Now here's Moran. Averaging around 27 and a half points a game, one of the best in the league. Jackson kicks to Morant. Here's Bain. And it's yes, Bain. 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 John ja Morant. Where's he assist? Right there. This is what I like about John ja Morant. He stays open to all options. Right there, finds the open man. Pass to Thompson. We've got 123 left here in the first quarter. Driving to the basket. And Poole gets it to him. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? They're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Pass to Bain. Memphis moving it around. Brooks with the bounce pass. Back to Jackson. The pass to Bain. Over Thompson. And there's Bain. Bain. Bain's got Jackson, Jackson Jr. Oh, man, with the assists. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. Don't come across them that often. Draymond Green. Beautiful location. Step and hurry with the assists. Led his man perfectly. Curry against Morant. Brooks the pass to Morant. And the shot, Morant in butter play. Morant in screen and roll. He'll typically make you pay. To the paint, here's Wiggins. And put the ball with his ball. What a defensive play. Paying for three. Two second difference between shot clocking. There's Bay. Six to start. Looks like. Steven Adams with the assist. Outside Curry. Fires from deep. No good on the shot. And that That ends the first quarter. Memphis Grizzlies, 19. Golden State Warriors, 17. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. This Warriors team has an interesting mix of championship vets with hungry young players. Andrew Wiggins spoke about that great time. That's why I team helped teach. The good player that all the time. That's why we did it. Why you should do this. Why you should do that. So it's been a lot of learning and also been very exciting uh, for the young players. Agreed. No doubt Wiggins has been soaking up that wisdom. Great stepping up his game in the process. Three yeah, first. Big culture Three first. coming from Minnesota. And he's blossomed under the tutelage of these Hall of Famers. Yeah, we already made the just two minutes. It's been a pretty good game through the first quarter. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Grizzlies. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They are penetrating, finding the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. 
And Jan's here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So on the floor for Memphis. They've got Clark. They already beat him. Deanna Lady Melton out there with Tyus Jones. And there's Anderson. And it's Bain in at the three slot. Now here's Jones. He picked up 21 points in their last win against Golden State. And he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker. Some of the plays he made were just remarkable. And the 21st Golden State foul. Number five. Keep going through this first, first team foul. A lot of times when you play four years in college. At the line for two. For Memphis Christmas. He was Number 15. With that form on his Brandon. Job. But Hook. you look at his productivity at Gonzaga. I'm not surprised how effective he's been in the pros. He's off on the first. We'll see back in 2000. New changes here for the NBA three point shooting at over 47 percent a game. How would you have liked him, Joe? I would have loved it, Kevin. The reason why I could have shot more threes, and with more threes gives you more stats, and with more stats gives you the bag. <laughs> Conchars checked in for Bain, and he sinks the second. And the potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. Now here's Pinky. Five points in the game. Outside Curry. Beyond the arc. It's Clark with the rebound. Memphis trailing here. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. To the middle. Here's Anderson. That's oh, it. oh Anderson! One. Now one for two. Nice going. Score for D6. Three levels. This time, Anderson attacking the interior. Now here's Curry. He's got ten. Hook loose. Jones kicks to Anderson. Now here's Melton. Guarded by Kirk. Back to Melton. Here's Conshaw. The Warriors pull it in. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Peyton outside. Into the lane. It's Clark with the rebound. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Inside. And he banks Coyle oh, Anderson! The lead up to two now for the Grizzlies. Good job of stepping up to the plate there, seizing back the momentum for his team. That's the big press. Is him. Close Three press. Let me have this one. Now here's Peyton. He's got five. Got a hand on it. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wing speed. And he gets it back. Two minutes remaining in the second quarter of the first half. They've only allowed five points in the quarter. On the wing, Jones. Guarded by Kirk. Jones against Curry. Just five on the clock. Jones, no luck. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good look. And Kaminga goes into it. And Kaminga. And you can see him give a little nod. Second quarter with these six. To the rim for the outside. Timeout out. called by Memphis Grizzlies. With a terrific feel for each other. Timeout called the Grizzlies. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. Uh, it's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. The NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals is brought to you by 
your local your local Kia dealers. This is your local Kia dealers for today. The official vehicle of the NBA. AT&T 5G. Fast network secure. That is the power of the AT&T 5G of the ultimate internet access. So and by C1. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. As they close in the start of the playoffs, let's see how the West is stacking up. We'll take a look at the Grizzlies. Right now, they've acquired the second best record in the conference. And of course, Golden State, right on their heels as they've got the next best record. And for the Warriors, they must have reached every goal they set for themselves this season. For them to be this job, more this late in the season, what an accomplishment. It really has been amazing. Everyone just kept waiting for them to fade, and it never happened. Golden State's gone 4-6 from outside the arc tonight. And coming out of high school, John Moran said he was a no-star recruit. One reason he may have been overlooked was his small-town upbringing. Brought up in Dalzell, South Carolina. Wiggins drives in. Here's Green. And he battles for the ball. Green. For the second chance bucket. Green's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. For Memphis, they've gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Now here's Morant. He's starting closer. Jackson kicks to Morant to the inside. Adams shot is off. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Here's Wiggins. He leads her with it. He's picked up by Morant. One second separate in the shot clock in game clock. Brooks against Thompson. Left side Adams. Stephen Adams! you got to bring more than that to stop Stephen Adams. Using that strength to fight through contact. Here's Poole. Here's Thompson, and the last shot before the buzzer is off. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been the first half of the game? Memphis Grizzlies 28 2. Golden State Warriors 26. David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Alongside Steve Kerr and Coach, what is the offensive approach going to be in the second half? Well, we just have to do what we do, move the ball um, and wear them down with our ball movement, our cutting, our spacing, and set better screens, all the, all the usual stuff. Yeah, it always seems to work out for you in the long run. Thanks, Steve. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. All right, here's your recap. Let's see what they say. They led by two after the first. Scoring-wise, they broke even in the second, so a little ground was lost there. Kenny, what was your take on Memphis? I have to applaud their offensive consistency. They're not wasting possessions or taking bad shots. That's a testament to their pace, their discipline. They're focusing on playing intelligent basketball. Shaq, what do you have to say about the Warriors? Hard to feel happy when your opponent shooting over 60%. You don't have to play hard for those guys defensively. Force them out of their comfort zone. Contest every shot. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Thank you guys so much. Let's get you back on the game with Kevin Allen and the crew. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The Warriors trailing, and on the floor for Steve Kerr as we get into the second half. Green Poole. Defense. Green Green is out there with Andrew Wiggins, and it's Thompson in at the three. And the pass by Curry. We move. see this Clay right Thompson hand, and that's how Steph Curry gets the space he needs from the mid-range. Moran's against Curry. Adams, the pass to Jackson. And they double up Jackson, over to the wing, feeds it to Adams. Steven Adams! And it's a the lead up to two now for Memphis. And how about the power by Adams on that finish, just brushes off the contact. Poole, the pass to Kirby. Over 
Jackson. Curry, Curry. Curry's got four points now in the quarter. Working against size, he's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. Now, here's Adams. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Now, here's Poole. Guarded by Morant, and it's Green with the Draymond Green. At six foot seven, Draymond is always capable of skying up for slams like that one. Brooks, the best of Jackson. Morant outside. Payne for three. Andrew Wiggins grabs the ball. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They've only allowed two points for the Warriors in the second half. They are on fire right now. That's four straight mates. And then Wiggins drive is a secondary option. That's baby! He's best at four. His efficiency soared. The Warriors lead it. Thompson outside. Pass to Kirk. No good on the triple. And with Wiggins, he didn't face the same pressure break. It was a huge weight off his shoulder. And that middle aspect impacts play. Wiggins was asked to do less, and as a result, ended up doing more. And so it's Memphis with it. After the missed three from Stephen Kirk. Down to five on the shot clock. Jared Jackson, Junior. In the reach. That makes Jackson. Has been made with the six. Here's Curry. He's got 14. Man, full court, man to man defense here. On deep. Doesn't go for him. Now Memphis takes it the other way. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter of a period. Pass to Bain. Memphis moving it around. Four on the shot clock. Here's Adams. A miss that time. Would have put him up. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Green passes to Wiggins. Here's Curry with the three. That balls. Seven that Curry time from Wiggins. With three. Curry's got seven shots. Timeout. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him, first in this half. Now a timeout called by Memphis. Man, Smitty, he's not that flashy about it. But Curry remains one of the elite ball handlers of all time. Stephen Curry is efficient on how he uses his dribble. Great composure when pressure in traffic. And sometimes he will show off those skills. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Stephen Adams. Anderson comes in for Jackson. Williams, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Bain. And then for Golden State, Looney's checked in for Green. Bialica comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And Kaminga subbed in for Jordan Poole. And Kyle Anderson. A way to convert through contact. Kyle with excellent body control. Golden State's gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. The ten foot. They get it again. The Grizzlies have gone four and seven to get things started here in the second half. Morant passes to Clark. Melton with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. For the lead. You can't get that one. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Thompson misses. Memphis trailing here. Clark kicks to Melton. Back to Clark. A 19 foot shot. And that one hits back iron. He said look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. The shot by Thompson, no good. Clark, the pass to Morant. It'll count. Hey, Milton! Got 
for three. One eye on the rim. One eye on the That's the end of the third quarter. The right way. Three quarters of play in a close game here. It's the Grizzlies. They lead by two. Live from 39. The Golden State Warriors, 37. Two K Sports. One more quarter left. And we are all done for this one. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. Everything sharp. Need to cut hard. Cutting through contact. Pass is sharp. And the ball is going to fall for us. We can't give up the easy ones down here, right? I can tell that he wants his team to be precise with their decision making. Kevin, he's aware just how special they are when they play smart and play together. Oh, Bruce, go. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. They've got Jones. Williams is out there with Kyle Anderson. Then it's DeAnthony Melton. And it's Conchar in at the three, the small four. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. Porter looking it over. Curry outside. Good. Seven and Curry. From Porter. Three. Curry's got ten points in just the second half. Hey, continue to stack it up from three. He's got two in each half so far. Pass to Conchar. And by the way. Hey, Conchar. Three. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Out to Big from downtown. Another three. Big State. Three. Continue to battle out. Done out from the Grizzlies. They're taking the lead. The direction this game is headed is going to come down to a couple key buckets by either team. How a timeout called by Memphis. Something we've seen the last few years. Boxing ones thrown at Curry although they've had mixed success. For the Grizzlies, he's checked in for Anderson. Sharon Jackson comes in for Williams. Dylan Brooks, Jerry, he's Jackson. checked in for Junior Concha. And it's Bain in for DeAnthony Melton. Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. This game is close, and he told his players, hey, guys, this is when it's fun, right? This is a close game, and this is when you get to show what you're made of. Right here, right now. Kevin, we'll see how we can start. Thank you, David. Listen, Scott. 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 Listen, And the first one drops. And Greg, just from the eye test, Kaminga's built like a guy who's in his late 20s. And, and physically, he's got some LeBron James to him. Great natural strength, fast, explosive off the floor. When he puts his head down and goes to the bucket, he can be unstoppable. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Andrew Wiggins comes in for Porter. And Poole subbed in for Gary Payton. Both good from the line that time. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Now the pass to Bain. Back to Jones. Now here's Adams. And by Green. Adams dishes to Jackson. Brooks for three. And on Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Curry kicks to Poole. Poked away. It's stolen by Adams. Jackson passes to Adams. Steven Adams with the assist that time. 
Jerry Jackson Jr. Steven Adams gutting it out against good defense. Golden State's gone two for two from three point land to start the fourth quarter. Takes a three, and the three ball is in the hurry. He's got the lead up to four now for the Warriors. Having a monster night from beyond the arc. He had two bombs in the first half, now three more since. Bean passes to Adams. Knocked away. It's stolen by Green. And it's the Warriors on the break. Green leading the charge. Some scouts were surprised when Jackson's wingspan was measured over seven foot five. That's a huge number, especially when you talk about contesting shots. Now here's Brooks following the middle. Yeah, Brooks! Three! Time out. Golden State Warriors. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Putting up a great run here, and but the Grizzlies are trying to try to revenge it back. Well, there might be a good chance for next season to see what this game comes to. If there's a choice in between those two, but we're not sure if it's going to be this one. And me phone, you take. All right, there. Uh, we got some great players out there. We're going to see who who had the best score here in game two. Everybody, three star players of the game. The most game is coming up right after this one. So after this game is over, we'll see who will have the chance to take the lead here 
and I'm in all they've got. Guys, back to you. Seconds left to play here in the fourth. The shot by Curry, no good. And so far, you know, there's a little no foul on Golden State Warriors, number 11. Clay Thompson, this first, first two and that foul. That was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. As a result foul, foul. I'm going to say, number thirty, Stephen Curry, his first seventeen foul. At the line for two for Memphis Grizzlies. Number twelve, Chuck Murray. free throw is good, and that will put them up by right two. You know, in most NBA drafts, John Morant would have gone number one overall, but not in a draft with Zion, at least not at the time. Second one is good. They both at the line. It's a three-point game. Huge shots. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. Curry fires from way outside. Can't knock in the three. And they just got the clock, so there's a foul. Personal foul by the Golden State. Number 11. Clay Thompson is second. Her team foul. On the line shooting two for Memphis Grizzlies. Number 24. Desmond Bain. Nope. Dylan Brooks. I kept saying that wrong. Sorry about that. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. What well, makes Dylan Brooks especially valuable to a team, he's a competitor who you can count on to produce in the clutch. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. With long and long that's the game. John Memphis Grizzlies, 57. And Memphis State up the win. Warriors, 52. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, and just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And a chance down to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, John. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach never played with a lot of freedom. Everybody has a great life, so I mean, there's no, no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and let you go out there and play your game. So uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make our best, and we're behind you. So. You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Thank you, guys. And this one was a fantastic game going on in between the Golden State Warriors of Pacific and, of course, the, uh, the central of the region here from, the, from this section, of course, of the Memphis Grizzlies. Wow. They definitely are picking up a great steam here to try to work things up here on the board. But too much for me. I, I can't even think about which one's the best. So it's very hard to figure things out what you can feel like it. Here is your three star players of the game. First up, we start with number three. We have is a gray attacker. That does turn out to be just only one for this one. Desmond Bay. 11 points, one rebound, six assists. He's doing a great job, but sometimes a little negative two was a little bit uh, off percentage here to try to take his run to the next one. Here's for number two. This one goes out to John ja Moran. 12 points, three rebounds, four assists, and a steal took out. Also with the dunk, did turn out great. The best run of his highlight here in game two. 
and definitely did help them out. And for number one, this one goes to a second game of the NBA playoffs of the New Balance Priority game, Stephen Curry. 25 points, one rebound, five assists, and one steal. He only had made some steals, but he always doesn't get his dunk. He always makes a good drive, and that's with him. He always does that every time he gets it in there, just like that. So that wraps it up here, folks. The third game of this uh, of the NBA playoffs has already been finished. Of game two, now we got one more left coming up as we have the Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns happening at the Footprint Center. Keep tuning in here on Senate Beast to check out newer videos, new records of the part, and previous videos if you haven't seen anything that you want to like to see it before. And that joins up for me as me phone is finished. We have a good night here in Memphis Grizzly here for the Warriors and Grizzlies. A wonderful matchup here to settle things up for this game. Now the game of this one is already now on tying series of this run. So, will the tie series be for the Jazz and Suns? Or will it be 2-0 for the Suns to pick it up? And with that, we will have the answer when the last game is coming underway. Thank you for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA playoffs at 2K22 dial. This has been a presentation of the Western Conference Semifinals, and I hope you all enjoyed it too. Have a wonderful night here and great evening for the game. Me phone is out of here. Have a wonderful night, folks. Get home safe.